Okay, this is Frank Salinas. Let's get started. First thing you want to uh, do is, if you're making this fan page for a client or for, for someone else other than yourself, click here on the home page at the bottom where it says create a page. And nine times out of ten, you're going to select brand or product. Um, just because most people can be using this for internet marketing or affiliate marketing type stuff, creating uh, fan pages for different niches and try to create uh, commissions and make sales from from your online efforts that way if you're doing it for a local business like a tire shop or, or a flower shop then of course by all means select local business but if this is uh, for you for uh, making money online in, in different niches and whatnot select brand or product and then uh, always select website and then put the name of your product here and then hit I agree and then hit get started I'm not going to go through this process because I'm going to create the fan page on uh, on my own personal account so if you're doing this for somebody else go through this process and get started that way and if you are doing it for yourself for your own businesses and for your own efforts you can just log in to Facebook and go to the same page okay once logged in you go to facebook.com slash pages slash create okay so as you can see here I'm logged in so I'm going to create brand or product I'm going to select website and for this tutorial I'm going to create something called PLR profits I'm going to get started and now we're going to upload an image is your first thing to do so I'm going to browse and I'm going to find a quick image All right, now I'm going to hit continue. For the get fans thing, you can invite friends or import contacts. Or you can skip this. For now, we're going to skip this because that's uh, some basic stuff. But if you're getting started and you know you're going to do this pretty quickly, you can go ahead and, and do that at that point. We're going to hit continue. And here for the website, I'm just going to put one of my websites for now and free video on how to profit from private label rights you're about is this a quick uh, quick sentence or so about uh, exactly what it is that your fan page is about so this website would be the website that you want to drive traffic to or at least one of them one of the websites you want to drive traffic to so that's very important but for this video I'm just putting in my own personal site I'm gonna hit continue okay so this is what it looks like uh, the fan page to uh, when you first get going now one of the main things that we're going to do here is I promise you just how to set up a fan page for free without buying any software any scripts and uh, make it to where it goes viral by people clicking the like button and all that good stuff so we're gonna make it to where they can't get access to your free gift unless they click the like button so we're gonna cover that in the next video and I'm gonna show you some good cool stuff to get started okay welcome back to video two um, here is a secret weapon that I found a while back and it's a pretty great little app it's actually an app you get from Facebook and you just go to it by going to apps.facebook.com slash iframe host or there should be a link underneath this video that you can just click on once you're logged in and we're gonna add that app to our Facebook uh, fan page now the main thing is what you want to do is pick an icon of uh, what you want to, uh, to show on your fan page and uh, a lot of them usually have this little star but you can actually choose a different icon so I'm going to choose the thumbs up uh, icon because it just looks cool and you'll see where this shows up in just a second so click it and then add this application to and then you're going to choose your page and in this case I named it PLR it should have been PLR profits but I'll fix that in just a second. So I'm going to add it to PLR. Hit Add Static Iframe tab. Okay, so now we have added it to our fan page. And looky there, it's right there. Now we're going to edit. And this is why it's so cool because you don't need WordPress, you don't need any plugins, you don't need any special software scripts to install on your site. You can virtually set up your fan page just using uh, Facebook, and that's it. So we're going to click the edit 
okay and now you're going to authorize the app okay it's not a big deal it just says access my basic information and send me an email okay so that's they're doing this you know to grow their network and to contact you every once in a while not a big deal hit allow and here we are at our fan page and we're gonna be able to start editing it right away it's got some pretty cool features that I'm about to go over in just a second all right so here we are at your tab settings the first box you see here is for page source now what this is is the content that people are gonna see um, if they're already your fan and after they click the like button this is what they're gonna see and you can you can either put a URL and this is what it's gonna do is gonna put the the site of your choice in an iframe or you can redirect them this user the user's entire browser window will leave your page tab and be redirected okay or you can put an image which could just be a you know whatever image you want but the main thing most people are going to use is HTML and what's cool is if you don't have an HTML editor all you do is click editor here and you get a fully functional um, WYSIWYG editor right here so you could say um, thanks here is your free gift okay so this is the content that they see when they're already a fan and you would put a link to your gift here uh, but let me show you how to use the templates that I gave you okay so you're gonna go to this right here and you see it says for image URL so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, I need to put an image up that says thanks for clicking like and we're gonna use the images that I gave you as a bonus so we're going to go to a website called freevps.us where you can uh, host your images for free so I'm gonna hit browse and I'm gonna find the images that I uploaded onto my computer which is what you get in this package okay fans page graphics PNGs and I'm gonna upload thanks blue I'm gonna click upload okay so show directly this image okay so here's the URL this is what you're gonna copy URL okay I'm gonna copy that then I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back to I'm gonna go back to my Facebook and I'm going to click this icon to insert an image and here's where I'm going to paste that image URL and I'm going to insert okay now I'm going to highlight it and I'm going to center it okay now I'm going to get the HTML to paste where they're going to get the the free video okay so I copied my code just to save some time I'm going to click HTML so I can look at the source code and here I'm going to paste all the HTML that I have and you'll see what it looks like in just a second I'm going to delete this one as I already have an image here I'm going to hit update okay now we're going to go to non excuse me non fan page source and this is the stuff that people see if they're not a fan of yours so this is where you're going to put you know click like yada 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 okay so fan gating is turned off F fan gating is, is basically that whole process of telling the people when they visit your page hey click like and you'll, you'll get this free gift okay so in this case we're gonna do HTML again now if you chose image you could simply upload an image okay but I want to be more uh, descriptive because the the images you get don't describe what your gift is so we're gonna go with HTML now we're gonna go with the editor okay and you can always make this a little bit bigger and let me get the HTML code for this page so I'll grab my HTML what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click this HTML source icon I'm gonna paste the code that I have so far and I'm gonna hit update okay so this is what it looks like here 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace this image with the fancy image that you got with your package. So I'm going to hit delete. And now I'm going to go back here to this free site, free VPS. And I'm going to select one of the other images. So I'm going to go back to PNG and I'm going to click video. I'm going to click the blue video icon and I'm going to upload this. There it is. So now I'm going to go down here where it says URL and I'm going to copy that. Go back to Facebook, and so here I'm going to click. Excuse me, I'm going to click this little icon. Real easy stuff. Hit insert, and I'm going to just bring it up one space. And I don't need this image because that's what the other image says. Okay. So now, one cool thing about this app is it has this friend gate option. And it's turned off now. And what this does is you can hit default and five. That means you can't see the content unless three or four of your other friends or five friends like the content as well. To me, that kind of defeats the whole purpose. But you could play with it and make it to where it's only one or two people. And it might help your visitors share it more and help it go viral. So in this case, we're going to turn it off. Okay, so the tab icon we chose was the little thumbs up. The tab name, I'm going to show you how to change it in just another video. We're going to hit save settings. Okay. Okay, now we're going to hit view tab. So there is your fan page. So when they come here, they're going to see this, discover how to start your online business, yada, yada, yada. Click the like button to get your free video. So as you can see, this is exactly what I want to happen. So it's telling them to click the like button. So if they click like, so so we viewed it as a non-fan so this is what it looks like pretty cool here's the uh, one of the images that you got in this package and now let's view it as a fan and as you can see here it says thanks for clicking like you're about to discover yada 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 and here's the video that they got for free okay so what you could do here is at the bottom you could put an opt-in form or you, this instead of a video it would be a link to a PDF or uh, it could just be some text or anything it could be anything pretty much and then you can put an opt-in form under this uh, video or under whatever gift it is you're giving away and that's it and as you can see here it says welcome so we're gonna go over now how to change the name of that so what we're gonna do is we're going to go to get started now we're gonna go to edit page and now default landing tab all we want to do is change it to welcome hit save changes and now we want to change the name of that welcome to something else so what we're going to do is we're going to click apps and now we're going to find our app which is called static iframe tab with the thumbs up and we're going to edit settings and we're going to change the name to free video whatever it is you want it to say that's what you're gonna put so we're gonna hit save they wanna hit OK now if we click view page this now says free video okay so if I go here copy this link and open up a new browser on a different browser we're gonna see what this looks like okay So there you go. I'm not logged in. As you can see, when someone lands on your on your fan page, they see exactly what you want them to see. Discover how to start your online business. Here's the the great image telling them to click the like button. And here you can see the tab is called free video. And so that's it. That's that's what you want to happen. So when they click like, they're going to see your content. They're going to see the eye-catching uh, image that, that I gave you with this package. And there is your fan page. So now if you want to add more pages, you can go here to edit. 
click edit go back to the settings by clicking this and if we scroll down install another tab it's right here for you and this is free you don't have to pay for anything so now we could say um, I don't know uh, like this one for the thumbtack we're gonna choose the page PLR we're gonna add it so now you have a thumbtack you can go in there and you can edit the content you can allow same thing as, as we did earlier it's not a big deal so now once you get to this area you set up your the uh, other information so this could be like uh, more free stuff you could name it you know change the name to more free stuff and here you put more uh, content for them more videos more PDFs uh, anything you want just to add value to your fan page it's that simple that that's all it takes to make a fan page without having to spend a lot of money okay let me also show you how to change the name see how here when you click on getting started the name of my fan page is just PLR okay so I need to change that I wanted to change it to PLR profits once we click edit page we're gonna go, excuse me we're gonna click on basic information and we're gonna change it here where it says name Okay, and then here you can put founded, and you put other information if it, you know if you want to, and you can put the mission and you know your email address, whatever info you want to put on here. Go ahead and expand on it. Uh, the more info you put, the better. Uh, basically, it'll help people trust you more and get to know you or and your brand more. So here I'm going to change that to PLR Profits Free Video. Save changes. Now if I go to view page, as you can see now it says PLR Profits Free Video. So real simple strategy right there just to uh, change your name anytime you want. Uh, change the name to the fan page. Also just want to mention um, you can actually grab the username of your page once you get over 25 fans. So try to get to 25 fans as soon as possible so that you can create an easy to remember username for your fan page. Okay, so there's some other things you can go over here. Um, profile picture, you can change these. So here, let's go to browse, and I can change. Let's uh, let's just choose something obnoxious like a dollar bill, and I can hit browse and and choose something else. So uh, the only reason I'm doing this is to show you uh, how, what this does for your your fan page. I'm going to upload that. I'm just choosing different stuff just to, uh, for example sake, just to show you something real quick here. Let's see. We're going to upload that. Now we're going to go to view page. And we're going to go to wall. So what I've done here is I've uploaded profile pictures and I've changed them. So what you want to do is you want to do just what I did. Go to edit page. I'm going to explain to you why I did this. Go to edit page, profile picture, upload different images of your products here. Just keep going through the process and choosing different ones. Then when you come out to view page, when someone goes to your fan page, they're going to see on your wall different images at the top. Okay, so let me see if I can get this to show. They click on your wall to make a comment or whatnot. They're going to see these images that we uh, uploaded uh, just, just a second ago. And so you want to put images of your products or whatever else you're going to make money on. Uh, put the images there because if they click on it, they can now see a description. So I'm logged in to Facebook as another account on this page. Watch what happens here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go here. I'm going to click on photos. Profile picture has four photos. So watch this. If I go here, I can add a description. This product was made with P. 
TLR. Okay. And then here you can get the URL and send them straight to it. So let me see here. Let me just paste that in here and hit save. Okay. So now check this out. I'm going to go to my other browser. Where am I? Here I go. Let me just close this. And we're going to re click on that same image. Okay. Let me go here. We're going to browse through them real quick. And I'm going to show you. There you go. I just made that change and now I'm logged in as a visitor on, on another browser. So here I basically said this product was made with PLR and now I have a link to that product in the description. So when they click it, it now takes them to that product that I had in that image. So this is very powerful. Do not forget to do not forget to do this. And that's it. So what this is going to do for you is when you upload all these images to catch people's attention all you simply do is go to your photos find the profile pictures and add descriptions of what they're looking at so if you have a, a product a b and c and d put a description and a link to product a put a link in description to product b c and d etc so when people go to your wall they're going to click on those images and that's just more traffic to you, all your stuff super super powerful stuff Make sure you do it today when you get your fan page started. Okay, in this video, I just wanted to cover a couple things. Uh, first of all, if you change the age restriction to anything uh, other than what it's set to as default, then this is going to block people from seeing your fan page if they're not logged into Facebook. So you're basically keeping uh, people from seeing your fan page if they're not logged in. So I really wouldn't change this because if you do change this then you're not going to be able to let people see your fan page if they're not logged in and so that hurts the whole point of your fan page so another thing um, you can edit these settings and the main thing I wanted to show you is if you go to resources you can send an update to all the fans of your fan page okay so you put a subject put the message put a link to your website or whatever and click send that's how easy it is to send an update to all your fans so you, you go to uh, edit your page resources then you click send an update okay so and another way which is I encourage you to do this once you have your fan page set up is all you have to do is just post stuff on your wall share things with you with your fans share photos images share links share a cool video it doesn't have to be you know self promotion of you selling to them as a matter of fact try not to do that just try to weave it in there here and there you don't have to be you know blatant out you know you don't have to be just all out pitching to them every time you make a post so just share stuff with them and the interaction will start just by sharing links videos etc so you just go here and say hey check out this cool video on uh, PLR um, flipping I'm just making this up so you write this and then you put a link to uh, whatever video you want to share it doesn't even have to be your link the whole point is you're interacting with your fan base okay so that's just two quick tips and you have a full uh, fledged fan page that costs you nothing that took you literally a few minutes to set up so I hope you really enjoyed this and uh, do let me know how it works out for you I'm interested to see all right let me just show you another quick uh, tip here when you logged in Facebook uh, the main thing is if you're making a new page new profile your profile should be a, a person it shouldn't be a business or uh, you know a niche topic your the, the profile that you create when you join Facebook uh, most of the time it's going to be your own personal profile and then the pages are going to be linked to your fan pages are going to be linked to your profile but if you make a new one do uh, for niche marketing or whatever make sure your actual profile is uh, a person and in this case I put that I'm a male and my name is PLR profits webinar this is not what you should do 
you should actually have your your name and basic information in most cases you're gonna have most of your fan pages linked to your profile because Facebook wants your profile to be an actual person not a band or a brand or a company or anything so just uh, just know that you know make sure you make your actual profile for your your Facebook uh, login an actual person okay so here I put my birthday the only thing that's kind of dumb is I put PLR Profits webinar when I should have named it you know Frank Salinas and then to get to your actual fan page what you do is you go to account and then you you click use Facebook as page and when you click this it's going to give you the options of your fan pages and you'll see a bunch of them here once you start creating them and in this case I'm logged in as a different uh, user and I'm gonna show you some stuff here on this fan page that I made a while back I actually made some sales from this just by getting a few people on this fan page promoting this uh, free webinar and after the video uh, a link would pop up that went to a private label rights package and this is a different app that I used in the beginning uh, before I found the other app but let me just show you something here after this video played a link would uh, pop up down here under the video and it would basically say hey go grab this PLR package and at that point they clicked it and went to go purchase through Clickbank so I actually made uh, I don't know about two or three hundred bucks just from these 43 fans here um, it's pretty cool okay so let me show you when you're in your fan page uh, one of the things you want to look at is once you start getting uh, f fans is you can click on view insights when you click on page insights you can go to page overview and, and see the active users the weekly and monthly and if you click on users you can see even more stats and this is just a cool little um, thing to look at because you can see the actual demographics once you start getting a lot of fans you can see some pretty good data that's going to allow you to you know make your fan page better so when you're looking at your fan page all you do is you click on view insights and then you get to those stats okay 